everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Emily I am a chef a mom and a registered dietitian and I am here today to talk to you about why it sucks to get nutrition info on the internet at least most of the time I mean obviously like this this is on the internet and it's not going to suck so the internet the good old internet where everyone's an expert on everything and people become these Google doctors Google nutritionists whatever it is just this breeding pool of misinformation. And being a registered dietitian who does online work where I'm in social media a lot, I see a lot of this misinformation and it like, it makes me so mad. In fact, I just made a Facebook post a couple days ago that got like some people like, they got their attention and if that's what made me want to do this video. I feel like I just stumbled on so many words there. Emily, speak. So that's what I'm here to talk about. I am going to go through and debunk some things that I find on the internet. Now, there are a million places to find nutrition advice. There's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, TikTok, YouTube, uh, blah, blah, I don't even know, so many. So I'm just gonna focus on Facebook for right now. See, I spend a lot of time on Facebook. I have a Facebook community with all the right information if you wanna join. It's Nutrition Coaching with Emily, E-M-I-L-I-E. Shameless plug. But I am also a part of a lot of other Facebook groups just to like go in there incognito and spread the good word because I hate this mis misinformation. But people get mad at me sometimes when I tell them they're wrong. But you clicked on this video so you want to hear me tell these people that they're wrong, right? So this is what I'm going to do. I haven't been in these Facebook groups in a while and I am gonna go snooping, see what I find for this advice that people are giving. I'm gonna let you know what they say why it's wrong maybe why it's right okay okay so got my first post it's a question and there are plenty of comments so the post itself reads this being realistic here i'm a size 12 to 14 jean i just don't see me dropping 10 sizes by this summer i should just clear it out wait a second she wants to drop to a size two to four okay well that's not even what I came to critique here, but size two to four doesn't necessarily mean healthy. When I first read this, I thought she meant size 10, which is a good realistic goal. I don't know much about this person's body type and what would be like a healthy weight for them, but going from a 12 or 14 to like a two to four by the summer, which is February now. So that's what, like four months away um, is unlikely. And it probably, you probably won't get there in a healthy way if you do. So let's see what this first comment says. It's great to want to loose that much, but take it slow and don't overwhelm yourself. Aw, oh, little heart face, or a oh, heart emoji. <laughs> if you can manage, there it goes, 30 carbs or less a day, and even fast from time, whatever time you go to sleep till the same hour the next day, you will loose an amazing amount. And just saying active is great too. I do power walk video on YouTube, 30 minutes. I've lost 30 pounds since January 1st. Okay, so there's some good and some bad and some ugly in this post. Um, the good is that she's very kind and saying take it slow, don't overwhelm yourself. Love that. Love that she shared an at-home workout because I know a lot of people can start a lot better when they do like YouTube and at-home workouts. Um, what I don't love is the recommendation of 30 carbs or less a day because I'm assuming she means 30 grams of carbs. <clears throat> average person needs over 200 grams of carbs per day over 200 okay so our bodies use carbohydrates for their main source of energy our brains particularly love to use carbohydrates for energy and restricting carbs doesn't promote weight loss any faster than just being in a caloric deficit or at least long-term sustainable weight loss. You will lose a lot of water weight when you first cut down your carbs because the way carbs are stored in the body, glycogen stores, hold on to water and when your body uses up those glycogen stores, it also gets rid of a lot of water. So you see a lot of quick weight loss. This person says she has lost 30 pounds since January 1st. It is February 8th, so that is very, very, very fast. Um, it could be a lot due to water. 
So the average rate of weight loss is anywhere from a maintenance stage, so losing zero pounds to two pounds per week. What you wanna look at is an overall trend down if weight loss is your goal and not necessarily like per week or per month loss. And then the other thing I don't love that she says is about the fasting. Now, fasting can be used in a healthful way if you're eating a healthy and balanced diet with enough carbs, but it's just not for everyone. Now, she did recommend a like 12 on 12 off, which isn't an insane fast. I mean, I would say most of us fast for like at least 10 hours just naturally. If you're going to bed, I mean, you don't eat right before bed, you don't eat right when you wake up, and hopefully you're sleeping at least seven or eight hours. But, so a 12 hour fast isn't something that's necessarily going to be detrimental, but for some people, it can just cause some negative backfires of, they aren't eating when they're hungry because they're in their fasting window, which is causing that like binge restrict cycle that might be too complicated to go into on this video, but basically the more you restrict, the more likely you are to overeat. And, or they will think that just because they're fasting that it's okay they eat whatever as long as it's within their eating window and still be overeating calories and still not be losing weight. Okay, this, comment, this one is already making me sad. Horrible failure today, cry face, cry face, cry face, cry face started a new psych med and made me very hormonal and tired. I kinda got in the Oreo cookies I bought for a friend, got to get her a new box and cry sweat. So here's the thing. I'm not even gonna read those comments yet. There, you're not gonna have a perfect day every day. You're not gonna have a perfect meal every meal and you're not gonna have a perfect week or weekend all of the time and you wanna know what? That's okay. It is okay to not be perfect. It is okay to eat some Oreos. It's okay to eat too many Oreos. If you did it because you had something going on and it's totally out of the norm for you, then it's like not going to hinder your journey all that much. I mean, really, if it's like one time, it's not gonna hinder your journey really at all. What is so much more important than what you eat one day, one meal, one weekend, is how you're consistently eating for most of the time. So I don't, like I don't know much about any of these people posting, but I'm assuming if this person is eating a general healthy diet most of the time, and she went in and she had two servings or three servings of Oreos, then she probably won't even notice it two weeks later, one week later. But this feeling of guilt, this feeling that she's gonna have to cry sweat tomorrow, and this getting into this mindset of like punishing yourself for eating, that sets you up for failure because you start to view food as this reward or punishment type of system. And if you can just view food as food and as fuel, it loses so much of the power that it has over you. Over you. I don't know why I said your, but I'm gonna check these comments. Hopefully they're really good. Tomorrow's a new day, very true. It's not a failure, you're taking new meds, new side effects. Oh yeah, I didn't even mention the fact that obviously medication can have so much of an effect on your appetite and cravings and sometimes it just takes getting used to it. Tomorrow's a new day, as long as you don't quit, you're succeeding. Man, these people are awesome. Uh, I need to find some like bad stuff because maybe I need to go to a new Facebook group. This group's actually kind of awesome. Mm. Okay, here we go. Here, here's a bad one. Trying this next. Might be a gimmick, but I got a somewhat friend that said drinking one glass of this a day has been helping. And it is a picture of the Bolt House Farms Blue Goddess. And the first comment says, sounds like a lot of nutrients, just watch the calories. I Googled because I was interested, 290 calories per 15.2 ounces, which is like two cups, almost. I can eat a lot of fruit plus other food for 290. Please let us know what you're thinking. There's a lot of fiber in a serving, so it should be cleansing, LOL. Yeah, fiber is important and it does help you have regular bowel movements, which can help your body excrete waste. So I guess in a way it can be cleansing, but 
like mainly just your colon um and also high sugar beverages do help get those bowels moving sometimes too i uh, used to work in a nursing home they used to get a lot of apple juice to help the uh the residents use the restroom but back to the first point that this person made yes you can have a lot of food for 290 calories in fact most soda like a can of soda is half that if even and not to say that like soda it the that same amount of soda would be as you know good or bad as that same amount of this juice drink but juices in general they are mostly pretty high in sugar it's where you're getting almost all of your calories most of the time and they don't really do anything to aid in weight loss in fact adding that to your diet may increase weight gain because it's just extra calories the next comment says my kids and i like this have drink it here and there as a treat i need to personally balance out more protein and fat for that many calories on a regular basis but it's way better than a candy bar ice cream cake cookies when craving something sweet I agree with 99% of the things she said. The only thing I don't agree with is if you are craving a sweet, if you're specifically craving a candy bar in the moment and you go in and substitute the juice, it might not satisfy that craving. You might kind of be scouring the kitchen until you find that thing you really wanted. But if you're just like, oh, I could use something sweet after dinner and not specifically like I want chocolate or I want a cookie, then having some like juice or fruit is awesome okay it's starting it is starting do we feel that 1200 calories a day is too low i know a lot of calculators suggest 1200 calories however i worry it's a bit of starvation mode just looking for opinions girl toddlers need 1200 calories a day grown-ass adult women who do more than just sit on the couch need more than 1200 calories a day for most adults, 1200 calories is way, way too low. And what it's going to do is put you, like she said, into a starvation mode. So you're going to do things like drop your metabolism, have increased cravings, increased risk of overeating and binging, and low energy, not able to do the workouts you may want to do, be cranky, have inadequate sleep. It's not a good recommendation for the majority the vast majority of adults so this person i'm on it and i'm absolutely fine okay we just talked about how different people can be right these people suck i'm on it doing grand i'm on 1200 but my fitness pal takes into account your exercise etc so it allows you more calories if it wasn't for that i would struggle to be honest so yeah my fitness pal takes into account when you exercise and honestly the calorie calculator for exercise on my fitness pal isn't super accurate um but it doesn't take into account your normal activity level so if you're someone that just moves a lot in your day it does not account for that i don't even know if i can read this comment I used to do 1,000 while nursing and hula hooping 30 to 60 minutes a day. I lost 30 pounds and maintained by eating when I was hungry and stopping when I got satisfied. I never ate until I was full. That pisses me the work off. Because when someone is nursing, when someone is breastfeeding, that is absolutely not the time to cut calories. When, if you are breastfeeding, exclusively breastfeeding, you're burning 500 plus extra calories a day. So if she was exclusively breastfeeding, if she was hula hooping for 60 minutes, she was burning off almost all of the calories she was eating. I'm surprised that she didn't become emancipated if all of this information is true. I have to assume that it wasn't, or maybe she just wasn't nursing all the way. Maybe her baby had started solids. I don't know i i feel like i have to assume that this isn't true because that is starving yourself and to put that as your personal experience out on the internet and like suggest that it would be okay for other people to do it too is absolutely messed up and wrong and my battery's about to die 
Okay, I feel I feel like that's a good place to end on. That is my rant on some of the nutrition information I found on the internet. If you like this type of video, please let me know in the comments. I can do different things like YouTube or Instagram or TikTok or whatever you want to see me react to. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you learned something and I will see you in the next one.